Too high, ma'am. Blood pressure. Too high. And his beta levels? Too high. James? Your son is extraordinarily gifted. Damn, where have I seen his face before? That's Richard Nolan, ma'am. He's with The Voice. Mr. Nolan? Richard, can you hear me? Where am I? You're in the Central Hospital. Can you open your eyes? I can't see anything. Don't worry. Your sight will return soon. A drone found you on the side of the M75. We'll begin with a sight test, and then I'll ask you a couple of questions. I'll create a glowing object in the room now. Do you see that? Try to concentrate your eyes on that object. Good. Again. Very good. Your sight will return to normal soon. We're gonna do some tests. Cognitive, emotional, memory, it won't take long. Do you know what date it is? Friday, 1st of January, 2039. Try again, please. Saturday, 11th of January, 2048. Very good. That's correct. I will now say a short sentence and then ask you a question about it. Ready? My eyes are blue, my hair is brown, my house is white. Which three colors did I mention? Blue, yellow, and white? One more time, please. Gray, white, and brown? Please concentrate, Richard. Blue, white, brown. Can you tell me what happened? What... What happened? My family... Where are they? You can't remember anything? I was... In a car? There was a tunnel. Give it time. You're in good physical health. You were very lucky, Richard. Now I'm going to reconnect a part of your AR system. Ah, uh, Unpleasant, isn't it? Your eyes and your brain will have to get used to it again. Can you stand up? Please follow me to the table. Take the cube from the left side of the table. Make it glow yellow and place it on the right side of the table. here with trauma to the brain. Your scan results were serious. You've stabilized, though. So don't worry. If the tests go well, you can go home.
Well done, Richard. Please follow me. There is one more test. Okay. Who is this? The neighbor's kid? You think? It's my son? Exactly. What's his name? Jason. Think carefully. John. Are you sure? His name is James. Where is James? Is he here? You've already asked about your family. Just now. Don't you remember that? Where is he? It's just a test, Richard. James is a good kid. I love him. Of course you love him. You are his father. Do you get along well? Richard? He's a good kid. Do you know this person? That's... Yes? That's Jennifer? No. That's... Tracy? Excellent. Tell me about her. What do you mean? Tell me anything about your wife. A memory, a story, anything. I know that we were... we're in a cab. It was nighttime. We were choking around. I took Tracy's hand. Keep going. The... onboard systems were malfunctioning. It... it got colder. The windows got foggy. I told her we were almost there. Okay. Do you know how long ago this was? What do you mean? This memory. How long ago was it? I don't know. What about this? Do you recognize this building? Yeah, that... I work there. Excellent, Richard. What do you do there, exactly? I'm a specialist in... in... wait... I write about technology. Very good. And how would you describe your position on that matter? Do you have one? I'm a journalist. My position is the truth. Ah, that came fast. That's the standard line, right? You must say that all the time. Well, can I go back to work, Doctor? We'll wait and see. You suffer from amnistic confabulatory syndrome. Memory lapses, confusion, mood swings. But when you're home, you will start to feel better. You'll see. Okay, Richard. You're good to go. <sighs> feel queasy. It'll go away. Your memory will come back probably within the next few hours. Perhaps not completely, but let's be patient. Well then, I wish you the best. So, I can go? Of course. You've been given neurostabilizers. If you have any problems, contact me. Okay, but I... I don't remember where... Oh, yes, of course. You live at the West Plaza, Mr. Nolan. The cab will take you home. The medic bot at the entrance will escort you downstairs. Good evening, sir. Follow me. I will escort you downstairs. This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. There has been yet another bombing at one of Kurt's robotics production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. 
In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between eastern and western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. charged 25 credits. Sir, please, something to eat? Marcel is taking applications now. Valid nanoscan required. Mars, our future. By being a Martian colonist on Red One, you are helping create a new world. Interested? A nanoscan takes no more than two minutes. Start afresh. Decide the future. Be a pioneer. Tracy? James? Good evening, Richard. I'm Simon, your Base 5 Home Assistant. Today is January 11th, 2048. It is 7.33 p.m., room temperature 20 degrees Celsius. You have no more appointments today. Please forgive me. I powered down yesterday. What the hell? Is everything okay, sir? Can I bring you anything? Tracy! You have new cloud messages. Richard, are you there? Come on, what's going on? Did something happen? Call me, please. What time is it in New York? She's probably asleep by now. Richard, this is not funny, okay? Pick up now. Did I do something wrong? Let's at least talk about it. You can't just... Ugh, call me back, please. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep. Not now. There will be time for this tomorrow. Tracy, what is this bot doing here? I told you- If you like, I can answer that question. You shut your mouth. Sir? 
This is a news flash from The Voice, your trusted source of news for Berlin and the Western world. In Berlin, there has been yet another bombing at one of Kurtz Robotics' production facilities. This has been the second attack within the last few days. In Nairobi, tensions remain high as fighting between Eastern and Western drone units continues in the mining region, destroying large amounts of natural resources. The smoke from multiple burning oil wells caused visibility in the region to decrease to almost 0%. In Warsaw, a drone attack by the Eastern Union within the Eastern Security Zone has caused serious damage to the inner city. A 250-story administration building was destroyed by five missiles. The marsh... It's a wonderful family, sir. You think? You should take good care of them. Tracy, I want this thing to disappear. If I may speak, sir. Sir, do you not want to know where your family is? Huh. Almost empty. A nanoscan? That Mars nonsense. Can't she listen to me for once? Okay. Where is Tracy? Mrs. Tracy is not in. Yes, I can see that. She wanted me to inform you that she went to her parents for the weekend. Oh. Wanted to inform me. Fine, she can stay there. Did Tracy say why she went to her parents? How do you mean, sir? What was her reason? She only told me to be here for you. Did Tracy ever visit me in the hospital? Does she even know that I had an accident? I can't say anything about that, sir. You can't, or you don't want to. I don't understand, sir. <laughs> exactly. Completely useless. What about James? Oh, she took him with her, of course. Correct, sir. They'll be back tomorrow morning. Should I give you a status update? You should do nothing. <laughs> Simon. Who gave you a name anyway? Ah, Lydia's still awake. Would you like me to assemble you a meal, sir? I can do that myself. Of course you can, sir. I'm just trying to lessen your workload. That's what I'm here for. The following ingredients are missing to assemble this pot. Honey, wheat, palm oil. Ugh. James beat me at chess. He's a clever boy, and very adorable. What do you know about that? I play chess at a very high level, sir. The base 5 model... You have absolutely no idea what adorable even means. I like your son a lot, and he likes me. You're a pile of junk. Nothing more.
Everything okay? No. That looks interesting, sir. May I ask who created those records? Walter, my ex-partner. Why are you asking? Those are some complex structures. He is intelligent. He was. Is he dead? I do not have any information about that. I apologize, sir. No, he's not dead. This stuff here made him crazy. And now he hates me. I do not understand, sir. No. How would you? I came out on top. He didn't. That's about the gist of it. Not as long as that bot snooping around. Yes, sir? You know what? Shut yourself down until tomorrow. As you wish. This contact is current. Richard! God, I was so worried. Where were you? I was in the hospital. What? Why? Are you sick? Why didn't you tell me? I'm not quite sure what happened. Oh God, are you hurt? My head took a bit of a beating. Otherwise, everything's fine. You could have been killed. I wouldn't have even known. It can't go on like this. I know. You have to speak to her. Lydia, I've just come out of the hospital. And Tracy isn't here anyway. Really? Where is she? She went to her parents. She took James with her too. She's bought a bot. Can you imagine? I have a bot now. Me of all people. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? She got you a bot? That's nasty. What is she doing at her parents' place? What do I know? Did she leave because of that argument you had? Argument? Yeah, you're... a week ago? You complained about that for hours? <laughs> no idea. The past few days are still a bit of a blur. Do you think she wants to leave? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you scared? Scared? No, why? So why won't you say anything? Because I need to think. Fine. You don't need me for that. Sweetie. No, it's fine. And anyway, I have another customer. At this hour? It's lunchtime in New York, Richard. I told you I'm no longer working nights. Too many creeps. Get some rest. And remember, if you ever need to talk, you have a bot now. Yeah, yeah.
cobalt blue, aquamarine, or a faded turquoise, or a spectrum. Is that possible? Whatever you wish, Doctor. However you imagine it to be. It's Ray. I have to go. Keep me informed. Of course, Mrs. Newman. Ah, there's our patient. You just missed your wife. A bit less days than yesterday, Mr. Newman. Hmm. Looking at you, I see nothing but a piece of art. Your pulse is uneven, but it's expected. Your medication. Otherwise, do you remember the accident now? Remember the... No? Yes. Yes. The cab. It'll all come back, don't worry. Any questions? Don't forget, you can call me at any time. Amy. She's fine. She wasn't in the car. Ah. Right. Did you think she was in the car? No. Maybe. I'm still a little confused. Hmm. That's bad, right? No, no, do not worry. I'm just noting it down. Memory loss is a common post-trauma phenomena. We push these experiences into dark corners of the brain and then come up with conspiracy theories. And yes, you were alone in the car. The electronics suddenly started playing up. You were incredibly lucky, my friend. The car is a wreck. Not too fond of flying, hmm? I mean, uh, who rides a cab these days? It must have been the electronics. Now, don't go jumping to conclusions, Newman. Leave that to the experts. In fact, don't make any conclusions. Not in your state. Just relax. And John? Your son will need to come in for regular examinations for a while. But there's nothing to concern yourself with. No more questions? Very well. If you wish, you may get up. No sports, lots of water, and if you have any problems, you have my number. Don't you worry. Minerva will gently guide you through your day. Oh, and please take your son to the clinic as soon as possible. Your wife had to go to an appointment. We expect him daily at 10 in the morning. Welcome back, Adam. The world. The world. Dreams. Hands. Arms. Floating. Riding a beam of light. Stars. The universe. The path. The beginning. Circling yourself. And Infinity. Man, as if I can't manage myself. Light. A circle. A circle? It's beautiful, John.
awake. John, thank God. Hello, Adam. Did you sleep well? Thanks. Henry, uh, I'm kind of seeing double. It'll be fine, though. And you, John? Are you okay? I'm hungry. Okay. Me too. Let's find something to eat. When is Amy coming? Don't know. She's working. Her project is being shown on Sunday. She left a message, though. Yeah, I saw it. What are you drawing? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. It's a circle? Doesn't look like a circle. It's not finished yet. What are you eating? Same as always. Oh. <laughs> Help me out, Henry. Cereal or cornflakes? Cornflakes, Adam. With hot chocolate. Your drink is coming up. What do you say? Thank you, food assembler. Don't you want to eat? Why don't you sit down? Do I have to go back to the hospital? Hey, it's not my decision. But I'm fine. Amy is worried. That's all. She's not even here. John has an appointment at the Kurtz Recreation Center. John, we have to go. Henry's missing. Your jellyfish is here. I can't find his remote. Let's have another look. There it is. Got it. Here. It was in Amy's room. What was it doing there? You'll have to ask Amy. Come on now. John, no dawdling.
Madam, are you concerned? Do not forget, you are what counts. You. But who are you? What are your goals? What is your purpose? All the answers are here. Here in your city. Take a look around and enjoy your day. Is everything okay? It's just a geohazard. Yeah. Are you worried? Uh, maybe a little. They're happening more often. I don't think so. They're getting stronger. What is it? No idea. Have you ever seen one before? No. What did that man do with it? No idea. It's something like a... Yeah, actually, I don't know. You should give it back. First, we're going to Dr. Sykes. We have time! Come on, let's take a walk around the park.
Look, fish. Can I feed them? Use your snack, but keep something for yourself. They always swim in the same pattern. A perfect circle. It just seems that way. I would like to be a fish for a change. Someday, it'll be possible. Someday? Maybe. For certain. Welcome to the Kurtz Recreation Center. We wish you a pleasant stay. Welcome back, Mr. Newman. What can we do for you? Sorry, I know we're late. No problem at all, sir. I'm bringing my son, John, for Dr. Sykes. Thank you, sir. You can pick John up in four hours. Go enjoy the sunny day. Good evening, sir. Today is January 12th, 2048. It is 626 p.m. What? How late is it? You slept 17 hours, sir. Why didn't you wake me? Tracy and James should be back any minute now. You asked me not to disturb you, sir. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least help me to clean this place up. You have new cloud messages. Hi, Richard, are you there? Okay, you probably don't want to talk to me right now, I get that. It's just, your column, for editing, can I expect it today? If not, Troy can take care of it. Okay, so, see you tomorrow, and don't worry, everything will work out. What's with the cleaner? Is it broken again? Should I clean up? That's the cleaner's job. Where is that damn thing? with the damn cleaner. Let's see. Something's in the filter. God, what's this doing here? I haven't seen this card in years. Why did she keep it? Where are they? They should be back by now. How late is it now? 8.30 p.m. Damn, where is she? Maybe you should call her parents. Hey, Jenny. Richard, <laughs> good to hear from you. Hey, Steve told me you're in hospital. Is, is everything okay? Sort of. An accident. I have to regroup a little. Listen, Jenny, is Tracy at your place? Um, no. <laughs> Why? She said she was taking James to her parents' place. She should have been back by now. Oh, well, she's not here. I haven't heard from her in days, actually. Have you tried calling her parents directly? I wanted to ask you first before I bash my head against the wall with Herman. You know how he is. Did Tracy say anything to you in the past few weeks? Did she, you know, did she say anything that I should be aware of? No? Come on, Jenny. I know you're best friends, but I'm worried about her. Okay. Of course, she told me that things weren't so good between the two of you. Uh-huh. 
But uh, she's been saying that for ages, and I'm sure you know that too. <laughs> Does she want to leave me? Did she say that? Did she? God, Jennifer, don't make me squeeze it all out of you. Well... She thinks you're having an affair. So she does want to leave. I don't know, Richard. Are you having an affair? <sighs> no. I have to call Metacentral now. Is there anything I can do to help you? I have to go, Jenny. Say hi to Steve. See you later. Maybe you should call her parents. Any idea what this is about? No, sir. Is there something wrong with it? Tracy didn't mention anything? No, sir. Richard. Evening, Herman. Richard, listen, now is not a good time. I know. It never is. I just wanted to know if Tracy's still there. Tracy? No. Okay. And when did she leave? She wasn't here, Richard. Not today, not this week. So she wasn't there. Maybe something's happened to her. Do you even care? Richard, I know my daughter. She's fine. But why did she say... You know, Richard, maybe she finally left you. You would love that, wouldn't you? Well, if you ask me, she should have dumped you ages ago. She deserves better than you. Whatever. Have a nice evening. Medi Central, you are speaking with bot 3452-1. Search for person. Understood. Please state surname, first name, and age of the person you are searching for. Nolan, Tracy, 39 years old. Nolan, James, 7 years old. Understood. Please hold. Your search has yielded no results. The persons you are looking for are not in care. How far back does the information go? You require security level 2 to access archival information. Okay, thanks. Thank you, sir. Were you listening? She is not at her parents. Or at the hospital either. Can you explain that to me? Where is she? Where is my son? I cannot provide you with any information about that. You damn things save everything else. I retained the information that your wife intended to visit your parents-in-law. But she didn't! Did Tracy meet someone? When she left, was there anyone with her? There was a man. A man? Who? What was his name? I can't say anything about that, sir. <sighs> I want to see your memory module. Only authorized personnel from Kurt's labs are allowed. Nonsense. Open the slot. I apologize, sir. I do not have the authority to open it. Fine, then I'll do it. You won't be able to open that. You won't be able to open. You, 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 you won't be able to open that, sir. You need the calibration key. It must be here somewhere. That must be it.
There is one thing you must never forget, Adam. Your most important task in this city. Being a good father. John wants to learn and grow, and you can help him. Every day. Mr. Newman, your son will be with you momentarily. Thanks. Hey, is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Are you done? For today. We will see him tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. You don't need to do anything. Our clinic service will pick him up. Is there a problem with that, Newman? Another appointment? Should I be concerned? concerned? Absolutely not. No need to worry. The clinic's responsibility is to accompany patients under 12 years of age for two weeks with their recovery. In John's case, it could even be a few more days. All right. See you tomorrow, John. Come on. Let's go home. So, what did you talk to Dr. Sykes about? Nothing. He only asked questions. What kind of questions? Doctor-patient confidentiality. Okay. Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. No birds. What? Been sitting here for an hour now. Not a single bird. It's wonderful. What have you got against birds? All oh, that constant twittering. It's distracting. You gotta stay focused. You must know that. Do we know each other? What do you mean, no? You know, um, have we met before? If we met, it must have been long ago. An eternity. Eternal or infinite? That's the crucial difference. Anyway, it's good you're here too. I don't quite follow. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. De Palma needs peace and quiet. I have peace and quiet. That's what I'm saying. I finally have peace. I'll be going. Thank you, Mr. Newman. Come on, Mr. De Palma. No, I'm not going back. Nobody wants to take you back. I'm staying here. Go on, you go. I don't need you. As you wish, sir. I'd rather take the train. Okay. You're right. One accident is enough. You two, are you coming home? We'll be right there. Perfect. See you soon. Adam, I just wanted to hand off a bunch of my work to you, but Fred says you need to recover. <laughs> what can I say? Without you, my independence areas are half as stellar. I'm just not talented enough or uh, too clever for this nonsense. Probably, Probably the, the latter. Former. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, the latest Newman conspiracy theory has been circulating around here. Why is a healthy man without any bruises lying in bed? What are you hiding, Adam? Did I miss something important while I was gone? Oh, yeah. Let, let's talk about work. Something important. Wait. Project Independence will save us all. The World Union is guaranteeing peace. Governor Kane is a source of all sunshine, and we bow to him. No, everything's the same. Tomorrow, you're coming in. 
shaved, and showered. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Excellent. See you in the present, Mr. Newman. Don't you think I should know what's going on? He asked questions. Normal questions. How I felt, what I was thinking. Well then, what are you thinking? Okay, fine. It's Monday, and you are watching the present. Your life is our poetry. Everything that matters to you, Mr. Adam Newman. Welcome to the present. Come Sunday, it will be time. A milestone of our age. Project. John? Adam? Mom? Adam, thank God. Are you feeling better? You're looking less pale. Thanks. I... Yeah, I, th I feel better. Can I go play? Uh, can he? Yeah, he, he can, of course. But no rampaging. You probably have a thousand questions. I don't, actually. Sure. Why would you? Sorry. My head is spinning. I have to finish up here. Is Governor Kane making you do overtime now? No rest for the wicked. Still the same project? Yeah, but it will be great, Adam. Perfect. You'll see. So, a nanny. Am I such a bad father? No, I'd say you're more of a... I mean, you're not a complete dud. <laughs> oh my god. Is a nanny so bad? John never had problems being alone. John is seven. You want to work again. I'm hardly at home. I think she would be good for him. She'll keep him grounded. Okay? Okay. I have to get some work done. Lie down. Get some rest. A circle. Hmm. Would you like to listen to some music, Adam? Uh, yeah. Okay. Adam, what is the square root of 169? Thirteen. Fantastic, Adam. Next question. Not now, Henry. Later, maybe? Is everything really okay? Why? Nothing. Keep playing. Good night then, John. Night.
How are you today, sir? Good. Fantastic. Should I make you a... No. Hi, Steve. Hey, Richard. How you doing? I'm still alive. Many Central called us to... We were worried about you. I bet you were. Seriously? Frank said you would rest up for a bit. I'm fine. I'm coming by. I have to have a chat with you anyway. Privately. Oh, oh yeah. Jenny said you might want to do that. Everything happens at once, right? Okay. I'll see you soon. See ya.